Hey, what's up? My name is Adam and in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way of protecting PDFs from being shared, downloaded, or copied. If you're someone who's selling digital products, doing research, launching a project, or just wants to protect PDFs for any reason whatsoever, then this video is for you. What we'll go over in this video is a way of uploading PDFs to a secure environment and then controlling the access. This will allow you to ultimately prevent downloading, printing of PDFs, or the copying of the content within it and you'll be able to control who has access at any given time. But just a quick recap, Kahana is a collaborative platform that allows you to create hubs of resources and content to organize them, curate them, share them, monetize them, or just have them for your own personal research. What you're looking at is my Kahana dashboard where I organize all of my projects and hubs together. In this video, I want to focus on this project hub right here. I built this hub to serve as an example for this video. So what we're looking at right here is a secure Kahana hub for a project. And I'm using this as an example to explain how to protect a PDF from being shared, copy and pasted, downloaded or printed within this space. This is where we're going to have project information. So this could be PDFs and slide decks, perhaps. You can have multiple PDFs and put them within a folder. Downloading and printing are disabled. As you can see here, when I try to click the print button, nothing happens. When I try to click this download button, nothing happens. When I try to select text anywhere, nothing happens. It, this is disabled. So it's not possible to ultimately select text within a hub and copy and paste it or edit it at all. Put simply, all you can do is interact with the content and view it. So from here, you may be asking yourself, how do you share this? How do you actually share this with people? And how do you allow people to interact with this information in a controlled and secure way? Well, you can go and start by clicking this button in order to collaborate and share. As you can see, this hub is private. Only you have access. And to add people, you need to invite them through email. I hope those examples were helpful and give a better picture of what the setup is, what it looks like, how it works. When it comes to the types of digital products that you can upload into a hub, you have a lot of flexibility. You can upload PDFs, videos, Google Docs, Google Sheets, other types of media like links. When you upload a PDF document, the quality will be preserved, so you don't have to worry about it looking different than you designed it. When you upload it to a hub, it'll come out exactly as you imagine it. Each hub of digital products can be thought of as its own unit or its own theme. And each hub has its own link associated with it that you can copy and paste and use across social media or your website to share. Each hub is a collaborative space in and of itself where you can manage other people like editors and commenters and admins. And you can also select whether each hub is free or paid. And when it comes to a paid hub or a hub that you set a price on, you have the option to set a price as a one-time payment or a monthly subscription. When customers pay to access your monetized hubs, you're gonna get payouts automatically processed through Stripe. If you wanna chat with people and comment and have discussions in hubs, you can do that. There are chat threads where you can send messages and interact with people. And lastly, if you ever have any trouble, you can let us know in the comments here or you can reach out to our chat. I recommend checking out our crash course tutorial, which is a 15 minute video that goes step by step through the process of setting up Kahana completely from scratch. If you have any questions about this setup or problems you run into while you're doing it, please let us know in the comments. If you have any ideas for future videos or specific topics you want us to cover in future videos, let us know in the comments. And if you're a fan of this type of content, feel free to give this video a like. It really helps with growing the channel and the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. We'll be consistently posting more content about digital products and how to build knowledge businesses. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.